A Maori elder calls to welcome the living and mourn the dead. The prime minister and top officials bow their heads. Bricks from the ruins of Christchurch symbolize the devastation around them. And New Zealand stopped, a week to the minute since a powerful earthquake. Emergency crews from around the world too silenced their jackhammers. They joined millions of New Zealanders in somber tribute. Two minutes of silence to remember the dead and missing. Prime Minister John Keyes called it one of New Zealand's darkest days. The official death toll is still rising. The number is fluctuating, but the figure that you've quoted of around 240 is, is solidifying. A major inquiry has been promised to find out why so many buildings collapsed in Christchurch, a city that was supposed to be quake-proof. The finance ministers warned the earthquakes likely to wipe out any growth in New Zealand's already struggling economy. As if things weren't bad enough, Christchurch is still experiencing violent aftershocks, opening cracks in the ground, threatening to cause landslides and rattling residents' already frayed nerves. Veronica Pedroza, Al Jazeera.